And when Jesus had cried out with a loud voice, he said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Pasensya na po mga kapatid, I have to shout it out. Listen po kayo nung agingon sa Biblia. He cried out with a loud voice and then ihunghung na ko sa inyo. So there is something that this verse is telling us. Jesus died praying. See it with me. He died praying. See it one more time. He died praying. Kung mamamatay man tayo, Jesus wanted us to learn something about His death. When death comes to you, He said, Die praying. Don't die blaming. Don't die murmuring. Don't die cursing. Remember that Jesus died just in case you forget. Jesus died on that cross hanging under the burning sun. He never died or He never died lying on the bed. He died hanging in pain on that cross but never siya nagcomplain never siyang nagalit never siyang nagmura now you might want to know a secret on sa secreto pastor this is the secret my friend mintras buhi ka pa ikinabuhi ang kinabuhing mainampuan While you are still alive, make a prayer your lifestyle. Kasi, pag nandyan na siya sa loob mo, no? it will always float into the surface. What is the inside, it will always come into the outside. Kung nakasabot kami yung kag-amen, sabi nga ng Bible, What is inside the heart, the mouth, speak it out. So, igsoon, kung ikaw, taong mainampuon, every situation in life, you will encounter it will always float into the surface. Yung pagiging prayerful nyo po. It will always come on the outside. May kasabihan nga tayo, sabi po ng kasabihan natin, old habits never die. Oh my goodness. Kung nakasabot kami yung kagimen, old habits never die. Kung kinabuhi na nimo ang pag-ampo igsoon, kung naaka sa kalisot, bisag naaka na sa kamatayot, it will never die. It becomes your trademark. And that is why no wonder Jesus, when He died, He died praying. Why? Because He was a man of prayer. Can you say amen? Can you say amen?